Hi there, this is Abhishek and this is the second video uh, where I will talk about sorting within the click view. In the first video, I covered what sorting is and how you can perform some of the basic operations in sorting like sort ascending by numeric text or you know by different options which is available as per the chart or a simple table chart that you have created. So before going ahead and talk about the little bit advanced options within the sorting, I will just show the data so that you can get some idea. So here is some data which is related to cars, uh, different makes of car like Rolls Royce, Tramp or Jaguar. Um, they're related information about the labor cost, the mileage, um, their model within their make, um, the month in which it was sold, number of cars sold. So this is a very basic data, uh, one can easily understand. Um, second thing or the second object which is there in this uh, click view document is the chart. So a very simple chart, by make I have mentioned the number of cars sold. So right now uh, the data is uh, not sorted by uh, any of the parameter or by any of the option which is available. So for example, if I simply want to sort alphabetically, which I showed you earlier also, uh, very quickly, I'll go and sort and I can say sort by text and apply. That's fine. I mean, these are all the options which is available to you alphabetically. This chart is sorted, but the problem arises whenever you have certain custom sorting uh, that you need to achieve. For example, you want MGB as the first option. After that, Aston Martin should come. Jaguar should go a little bit down in there in this chart. And uh, that's where you need to make use of a couple of functions or a couple of options uh, within which these kind of custom sorting or custom ordering of data is possible. So the first one is basically the match function. And within the sort, uh, if I just uncheck this and go into the expression and enter the expression with this match function, I'll just expand this and show you completely. So here is this match function. What it does, it basically uh, takes the first parameter as the name of the field, which is make, and then the order in which you want to specify it. So first, I want to specify Bentley second is Aston Martin and third Jaguar and then so on and so forth. So in this way, if I have a very short list, then this is probably a good option where I can dynamically go in and uh, specify it. And whenever my user's needs are changing, then I can simply, um, simply uh, go ahead and make the change over here in this list and get it done. So right now, if I show you, um, Aston Martin is coming first because uh, uh, this we have sorted the list alphabetically, but now it is coming in second place and Bentley is going as a first position. So I'll just click OK. And here we will see it in action. If I just try it a little bit here and click apply, you will see the Bentley has now come onto the first position, Aston Martin on second and so on and so forth. Now the list is not alphabetically sorted, but as per the custom order that we have specified. So that's the first thing that we can do uh, over here. Uh, the similar kind of uh, objective can be achieved by using the dual function. So for that, we need to do some settings within the script. So for now, I will just click OK here and go into the edit script option. And to define the custom sorting, we need to create. So first one is basically the normal table, which you are seeing over here. And the second one is the inline table in which the sorting is specified. So we have said, okay, what is a make? We have specified the make, MGB, Aston Martin, Trim, TVR and all. And then what is a sort order? So this list is uh, useful. Uh, when you have like uh, some 15 or 20 different names and you have to juggle through a couple of options, uh, run, the run, uh, you know, whenever you want to specify, then you can quickly do it. 
So that's the second option that you can do uh, to specify the sort. Once you are done, you can do the reload. The table will be reloaded within your environment. And then you can go into the sort option by going into the properties. I will just remove the match thing and say dual. And what dual takes first one, first parameter as text, which is our make field. And second is the number, you know, the number associated with that text. So that is our sort. So if I click this and show you in action, I'll click apply. Now the list is further custom or custom sort based on the options that I have specified. So these are first two different options uh, I wanted to show you. Um, apart from this, uh, these predefined functions and all, uh, you can also sort on the some numeric expressions, things like we are showing the number of cars sold, but we want to also so, uh, show that uh, by mileage, how this picture is looking like. So this is just for representation. Uh, I'm showing you in, in reality, it may not make much more sense because we are just summing up the mileage, but just for representation, I'm showing you how it can work in action sum of mileage if i do it click apply you can see that it is further uh, sort by the sum of mileage function similarly if you have any other options like cost by cost price you want to do uh, by direct cost or any other options like cost ratio you can define the uh, expression directly over here based on that your need and then you can uh, go ahead and do the sorting so these are a few of the options like uh, match dual or these numeric expression by which you can do the sort i wanted to show you here and i want to leave this video uh, with the exercise that you can do and identify or figure out how to do the sorting so what i have done I have created this very simple table over here. I'll just minimize this so that you can clearly focus what is here. So it is nothing but a categorization of mileage I have done. So here it is saying if uh, mileage is between 0 to 50,000 as per this field, then what is the, um, you know, the count of model, model count by mileage. So where is model? This is the count that I have taken. So in zero to 50,000, how many count of model coming? Then 50,000, 200,000, 100,000, 250,000. That means uh, there is a break of uh, a cut of 50,000. Now, if you see this data, uh, it is not properly sorted. It's because after 100,000, 150,000 should come, but 250,000 is coming. So I want to leave this video to uh, to for you to figure it out how you can sort this and uh, do a right metric representation for your end users so that's pretty much all i look forward to see your answers and uh, maybe after a couple of days i can post the answer of this uh, this query or this scenario Till then, uh, happy clicking and uh, I'll see you in the next video with a new topic. And uh, before leaving, just quickly, you can find the data of this uh, uh, exercise within the uh, description section of this video.